Now this is bok choy with magpie goose breast and sweet soy sauce marinade. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. I've eaten a lot of mutton bird back home in Tassie, but I've never tried magpie goose. One thing is for certain, there's nothing better than cooking meat on an open fire. What we're gonna do is gonna get stick the knife straight in there in the backbone. And we're just gonna run it down both sides. And how long would you cook it traditionally a, a bird for? Oh look, it'd take about 20 minutes on the fire. Um, traditionally it's just straight on the coals. This should just break open pretty easy. Just like that. So we're just gonna chuck this bird on the coals. It's been such a big part of our childhood and our upbringing. Not only in our family, but for every Darwin family growing up, even non-Aboriginal families, all the multicultural families in Darwin, magpie goose is such a significant dish. It's, it's just a, a beautiful thing to be able to share with you know the rest of our friends, our family, but also the rest of the country. So we've got a bit of native thyme here. Now, why do you put them under the coals? I suppose it's like smoking, I guess. I like to just put a little bit of native thyme there just to go through the flavours. You can already smell it now. Coming to life and creates that bush taste, I guess, too. So we just cut up that bok choy, place that on the grill. It just creates that smokiness. So that's our bok choy. It's nice and soft now. That's been steaming on there. We've just added a bit of water to it. It just breaks up that game flavour as well and a bit of freshness to go with our sauce. Speaking uh, of sauces... So, yeah, we're going to cut up some garlic here. I'm going to go with some sweet soy next. A little bit of sweetness. It's plenty. A bit of oyster. A um, bit, bit more flavour there and helps us thicken up our, our sauce. Some soy sauce is just going to help marinate into the, into the meat and add a bit of colour. Curry powder for a bit of spice. Then now we're sort of starting to get a bit of a satay peanut sauce, I guess, now with the peanut butter. Yeah, just give it a bit of a stir now. Mix up those flavours. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get that straight onto our grill. That'll just heat up slowly, no rush. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the native thyme just on top just to get some more of that aroma through that magpie goose. And you can already smell that, that flavour. I'm going to take this off right now yep. before we overcook it. So we're just chopping it in half straight down the front of the chest. As you can see, you've got that big meaty bit, the breast through there. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take that breast off because that's what we're going to be using. Put it back on the fire, cook it a bit longer. We can eat the windpipe? Yeah, 100%. We eat all of the goose to the um, giblets, the heart, pretty much everything, so we don't waste anything on the bird. We're ready to go, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two off. And we're going to start the plate up. So you can take a couple of pieces and put it straight on top of our charcoal bok choy. That looks beautiful. And to finish it off, we get our sauce. So this is bok choy with magpie goose breast and sweet soy sauce marinade. Hmm. What's the verdict? It's beautiful. It's a bit more fatty than mutton bird, which is what we eat back home, but yeah, the sauces are beautiful. Shallots on top. Very good. Very good. Takes me back to 10 years old sitting around a fire with their family. Very good, Daniel.